Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and today I will show you how to flash the firmware of the device. So before we get started there's a couple things we will need. Number one is the, the cable that you use for charging. Plug it into the computer that, that you will be using for this process and set it somewhere on the side. Then another thing that we will need or two another things um, is uh, software and uh, firmware that we're gonna flash. So to get them, you can go to your device. So for me, it's the Note 10 Plus Exynos. Now yours might differ. So let me just find it right here. Once I tap on it, uh, this one is basically empty. I just added it as a quick way. So I have somewhere to show where to get it from for this specific one. Um, so you can actually open up the previous one. So normally you will see a lot more information so if I choose let's say the Note 10 you'll see that there is an entire list of them and all you need to do is just go into the firmware download which is as you can see also on the bottom so look so firmware download and once you click on it it will show you the firmware so make sure that you're getting the correct one and to check it you want to go to your device go into set, uh, settings and then scroll all the way down to about phone and you will have model number as you can see there is the sm n 975 f and it's the exact same one as right here and if i would were to let's say open this one right here which is just the note 10 not the plus one it's 70f so it's difference of a five right there and each one of them has a different model number so make sure you get the correct one for your specific device um, so once you have that now mind you this will take a little bit of time to download it's a i think like a five and a half gigabyte file so keep that in mind so once you have downloaded that you can then proceed to to get odin and the easiest way to get odin would be to download it from something like a google um, bypass google verification when you tap on it will be on how to uh, remove Google access protection and once you tap on it you'll have a couple of things right here so it's right here the Samsung Odin software and you can get it get it from here you can also search for it if you like um, and another thing that I'll point out before I start if uh, once we plug the device uh, to the computer in download mode and you don't see anything popping up in the Odin you will need to download the USB drivers right here so once you have all of that, we can then begin to open up the software. So as you can see, I already, I already have all of it. So right here, stop on OK. I'm gonna move it. And here you'll see basically the entire software. And make sure right here we have the ID com. Once we plug in the device in download mode, that the device actually pops up here. So to put the device into download mode we want to begin by actually powering it off so pull down the notification panel tap the power button right here and select power off now if you have some kind of protection on the device a lock screen or fingerprint you will also need to confirm it before you can turn it off and once it's off you want to hold volume up and down both of them at the same time volume up and down and while holding those two keys you want to plug in the cable that is connected to your computer and keep keep watch on the screen that it will show up in a second so you get the warning message right now before you actually get into the download mode and what it tells you is to press volume up to continue so volume up and there it is on the computer as well as you can see that's that's the device now just as an example if i unplug it it will disappear from there and if i plug it back in it will reappear okay. so that is the, the phone so once you can see it we can then begin to add the files so tap on bl and find the location where you have downloaded the flash uh, files for the device so whatever you have chose here wherever it is uh, unpacked you want to select it so minus in the documents and 5f so it's this one right here 
and now I need to select the BL file. So BL underscore, then select the AP file right here. Once you select this uh, file, the AP one, as you can see, it's 5.2 gigabytes. Um, for me, at least, I'm not sure if that's uh, only for me or for everybody. Uh, because the file is large, the program will kind of freeze up for the time being while it's scanning it or adding it and then unfreeze when it's finished with it. So as you can see, if I would try to do anything, it will say that it's frozen. And uh, till it's done adding it, it will be unresponsive. Now, the, also the process of how long it takes to add the AP file might vary depending on how good your machine is. So also, this is not like how long it might take you as it take as it is taking me. Okay, so now that it's done, I think I clicked on the another one. That's why it opened it up. Um, so right now, once it's finished, you can see that it's responsive again and I can start adding. So I'm gonna select CP now. There it is, CP. And then CSC, right here. And then CSC. Um, now this file is also like 700 megabytes, so it will take a little bit longer than it took for the CP one. So now that it's added, uh, tap on the tab options right here and make sure that auto reboot and F restart time is checked as it is right now. And all you need to do now is press on start and the process will begin. So it will take several minutes, just be patient. And once it's finished, it will show on the Odin that it is finished, but the phone will still continue to do like a reset basically of it before it shows you the setup screen. So I'll be back once that is actually visible on the phone. And as you can see, the process is now fully finished. So you can unplug cable. And from here, I'm just gonna go to a really quick setup. So let's change the language to something like English and then proceed. And now the flash is completely finished. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.